I'm very excited to have you all here. So we're going to go ahead and get our program started. So I just want to welcome all of our faculty, staff, uh, students, and community members to the 2023 SMTV DEI Awards. And those of us who are joining in person, as well as those of us who are joining from our live stream this evening. My name is Dr. Amber Benton, and I use she, her pronouns. I serve as the Chief Officer for SMTE DEI. I'm very happy to be here. I will be hosting with my co-host, so you'll see shortly, <laughs> Sean. Um, but we are very happy to have you here. Um, this is the first time we are able to gather in person. Last year, we had to do a virtual ceremony. And so before we get started, I do want to start us off with our land acknowledgement. So the University of Michigan resides on the lands of the Anishinaabe people, Ojibwe, Ottawa, and Potawatomi nations, as well as the Wyandotte Nation. We acknowledge that obligation to uphold the agreements of the 1817 Treaty of Fort Nix. We advocate for indigenous struggles against ongoing settler colonization and strive for a decolonized future. In addition, I forgot to show you my lovely picture there, but it's, it's okay, you know who I am. <laughs> in addition, if you want to follow along with our digital program tonight, if you are not here in person, if you scan the QR code, you can do that by opening your camera app. You'll be able to access the digital program, or if you would like to go back to our program after this evening, you can access it online. And so with that, we're just going to start off with the performance. We're going to kick it off. Um, so if you're waiting to hear about the awards, have to wait a little bit longer. But I do want to turn it over to our first student performance, the Alyssa Smith Trio. So let's give it up for those.
descriptions of their contributions are largely taken from their nomination materials. So we want to also acknowledge all of those community member nominators who put in the time to describe your work and achievement to us. So let's give a round for those people who nominated our awardees tonight. So we cannot list all of the activities and achievements sent in to us by these amazing nominees tonight, but we uh, be assured we took everything that was submitted on their behalf into account when making award decisions. And so again, this event is being live streamed, recorded, and photographed. Following tonight's event, you'll be able to find further information about the winners on our SNTV DEI website. I would now like to introduce Sean Greer, a graduate student coordinator in our office, which is Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. It's wonderful to see everyone. I hope that you're having a great evening. Um, and again, I'm Sean Greer. I use he him pronouns. And the first category of the awards this evening is the Breaking Ground Award. And this award recognizes incredible effort behind new projects, initiatives, and performances. And the award supports new activities with a high level of commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion in service, scholarship, musicianship, artistry, and advocacy. Projects should, for this award, promote diversity, equity, and inclusion through programming, engagement, and overall artistic vision. And I am pleased to announce the recipients of the Breaking Ground Award this year. Um, and uh, we think that we'll show first the, uh, your slide, and then at the end of it, you can come up and stand so you don't have to stand here as we read off all of the wonderful things that your nominators have said about you. But our first award recipient this evening is a student, Timmy Thompson. Can you give a round of applause? here and ready for you. And you can stand here as we say wonderful things. So again, the, the wonderful words I'm about to, to share come from um, those that nominated Timmy for the award this evening. So as a writer, producer, director, editor, actor, and camera person, Timmy has advocated for diverse voices with compassion creating many on and off screen opportunities for LGBTQ plus individuals and students of color. As a performer, Timmy's leadership has been instrumental to the production and direction of the Department of Musical Theater's Color Cabaret. Timmy spearheaded the Student Service Organization Michigan Performance Outreach Workshop for three years, providing arts access and education opportunities to hundreds of Detroit public school elementary students. Under Timmy's leadership, that organization, MPOW, offers uh, were expanded to include a performance which offset the cost of dance lessons for youth involved in the MPOW program. Timmy was also involved in the production of the web series Undeclared, largely based on the experiences of friends who struggled with their sexual, religious, and racial identities. Undeclared talked about the anxiety of being marginalized finding love as a person of color, and embracing one's religious identity. Timmy is currently working on Strangers, a short film anthology. This student-produced film project spotlights the African-American, LGBTQ, Asian-American, and female-identifying experience. The film tackles topics including female autonomy, race and dating, family, and romantic connection. Timmy, thank you for your work, and let's give Timmy another round of applause. Congratulations. And our next awardee is for a faculty member, and that faculty member is Dr. Courtney Snyder. Congratulations. Please come down for your wonderful. 
So again, these wonderful words here are shared from Dr. Snyder's nominators. So Dr. Courtney Snyder is Associate Director of Bands and Associate Professor of Conducting at the University of Michigan, where she conducts the concert band, teaches conducting, and directs the Michigan Youth Symphonic Band. Ensembles under Dr. Snyder's direction have been selected to perform at both state and regional conferences. An active guest conductor and clinician, Dr. Snyder is a contributing author to the book The Horizon Leans Forward and is published in several additional journals. Dr. Snyder has received awards from Tau Beta Sigma, National Band Association, Women Band Directors International, and the American Prize. Dr. Snyder has a practice of intentional programming of underrepresented composers, regularly including the works of underrepresented composers at every University of Michigan band concert. Dr. Snyder's Let Women Choose Her Sphere concert was a celebration of the centenary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, but also dealt with broader elements of marginalization, suffrage rights, sexism, and underrepresentation all while including voices of Black, Latina, Asian, disabled, and LGBTQIA American women. Dr. Snyder has worked tirelessly to build community with and to give voice to women band directors. Her work with women band directors helped forge an entirely new set of DEI presentations at the Midwest Band Clinic. Dr. Snyder wrote the chapter Trailblazers, Five pioneering female band directors recount their journeys over the last 50 years in the book, The Horizon Leads Them Forward, Stories of Courage, Strength, and Triumph of Underrepresented Communities in the Wind Band Field. Dr. Snyder has given over 20 presentations and interviews across the country on DEI issues in the band community. Finally, Dr. Snyder serves as a co-coordinator of the Wind Band Database for the Institute of Composer Diversity a site that provides directors the means to find works by underrepresented composers. Dr. Snyder also created the first ever Forum for Future Female Band Directors here in Michigan, and this forum is becoming an annual event hosted at different universities around the state and inclusive of female and female-identifying directors and students across the state. Thank you, Dr. Snyder, for your work. We thank you, we congratulate you. And it seems like a perfect time to now welcome back the Alyssa Smith Trio. So please help me welcome them back to the stage.
So I'm going to ask that we now give a round of applause for all of our students. Awardees should demonstrate a high level of commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, whether in the classroom, work environment, club environment, or other gathering spaces within SNTD. Awardees should show demonstrated effort to create and facilitate spaces where people can be their best and complete selves. And so I'm going to announce our winner, which is Maddie Levy. Yes! Maddie Levy is an Emmy composition and master of vocal performance student. Maddie works on the Excel log, the official blog for the Excel lab. She works to be thoughtful and inclusive in how others are represented. She is respectful of identities and perspectives and does her best to advocate for the voices that she amplifies. Maddie is an active contributor in Excel team meetings and offers feedback openly and kindly to others working through projects. Maddie speaks up for what she believes in and, promoting, and prompting changes that result in more equitable and effective processes. Maddie's recital, No Dead White Guys, was an audiovisual experience. <laughs> you can take a moment for that. Uh, Maddie's recital, No Dead White Guys, was an audiovisual experience meant to uplift marginalized composers in the classical music sphere and further her mission as a composer slash performer to uplift BIPOC people and women through music. In addition to her work at Excel, Maddie has facilitated workshops in bystander intervention, co-founded Black, which is Black Leaders and Arts Collective, and works for the Office for DEI and SNTD. Through these roles, Maddie conducts educational and social programs that promote diversity, equity, and inclusion, and foster a community that is inclusive and supportive of all students. Thank you for all of your work, Maddie. Let's give Maddie a round of applause. should display an ongoing commitment to DEI within their field, including but not limited to um, an academic thesis, publications, coursework or course creation, performances, projects, or lectures. And our next awardee is faculty member Dr. Mark Hannaford, professor of music. So Professor Mark Hanford is a music theorist who thinks about performance, identity, and improvisation. His publications appear in Theory and Practice, The Oxford Handbook of Public Music Theory, Music Theory Online, Women in Music, and Sound American. He is also co-founder of the Engaged Music Theory Working Group, which works toward greater justice and equity in the field of music theory. He is also an improvising pianist, composer, and electronic musician who has performed and or recorded with Tim Byrne, Ingrid Lobrock, Tom Rainey, 
Tony Mellaby, and William Parker. Mm -hmm. Professor Hannaford's publications aim to expand who and what counts as a music theorist. Some of these include an exploration of George Russell's Lydian chromatic concept of tonal organization as a case study in utilizing liner notes for jazz long playing records as sites of public facing music theory and analysis. Professor Hannaford works to formulate his research as a multi layered, multi voiced discourse that places his work in dialogue with the focus of his research, offering insights without claiming ultimate authority. Mm -hmm. Professor Hannaford organized a performance of Black experimentalist Anthony Braxton's composition number 49 for Ann Arbor's Edgefest 2022, which was an American premiere. This performance further efforts at performing and recording more of Braxton's previously undocumented compositions. Finally, Professor Hannaford has presented in conferences and on college campuses. Recent trips include the University of Madison, Wisconsin's Colloquium Series, Eastman School of Music's Music Theory Colloquium Series, and Society for Music Theory Jazz Interest Group's panel on chord scale theory and jazz pedagogy. Thank you for your work, and again, congratulations. faculty member, Dr. Fang Fei Niao. Dr. Fang Fei Niao, international artist and scholar, is an assistant professor of dance at SMTD, where she teaches both seminar and physical practice courses. Dr. Miao's in-progress book manuscript is not only the first English monograph about dance in Reform Era China, but is also the first book-length research on dance and US-China relations in the Anglophone academia. Dr. Miao has published her scholarly research in both the English-speaking and the Chinese-speaking academia and staged her experimental choreography in New York, Los Angeles, and Beijing, among other locations. She received her PhD from UCLA and her MFA and BA from the Beijing Dance Academy, China's premier dance conservatory. Dr. Miao's peer-reviewed article titled Misstep as Global Encounter the American Dance Festival and Reform Era China is featured in the Dance Research Journal, which is the premier research journal in dance studies in Anglophone academia and the publication's first research article on dance in China. Dr. Miao's research breaks the previous white-centric representational format in which white scholars explain Chinese dance to the general American public and the Chinese people function as the white scholars' research subjects. Her theorizations subvert white-centric scholarly writing of Chinese dance in the West and are restructuring the field of dance studies in the United States. Since its publication in May 2022, this article has been widely featured in dance history classes in major American university dance programs. Thank you again and congratulations.
your screen here. We would like to thank all of the members of the awards committee, which included Alfredo Rivera, Nathan Carrillo, Kara Weinhold, Robin Myrick, Brooke Taylor, and Robin Wilson. We appreciate the time, energy, and care you put into this process. And I want to say it was a very inclusive process. Uh, this committee agreed to select, uh, review and select the awardees. I had no part in the process, so this really was a community effort that I really appreciate the service that you did for our office on selecting those. I also want to thank our performers this evening from Melissa Smith, Benjamin Powell, Jesse Kramer, Donovan Rogers, Angela Taylor, Christina Ben, Lauren Horn, Joanne Clark, Maya Jackson. I also want to thank the Office of Faculty Development and Dean Christy Ann Castro for sponsoring a portion of our awards this evening. I also want to thank our leadership, Dean Gear, Associate Dean Fitzpatrick, Associate Dean Corey, Associate Dean Clay, Eli, Samal, so, okay, and Eric, and I apologize for that. And Eric Kabogolo for your ongoing support of DEI and direct support of, the, of this awards process. Finally, a thank you to our SNTE DEI team, Sean Greer, Maddie Levy, Joseph Reichel, Naomi Rodriguez, Caitlin Taylor, and Annabella Vidrio for your work and effort towards this event. At this time, we want to invite everyone to enjoy our reception out in the atrium. Please take a few moments to enjoy refreshments. We also want to acknowledge our colleagues who are observing Ramadan, and so we ask that everyone honor those who might be celebrating. And at this point, that concludes our program.